welcome back previously we learned how to locate a point on a coordinate plane this was referred to as a coordinate of a point in this video we will learn to apply this in real life situation one of the most important applications of coordinate geometry is to find the distance between two locations on a plane surface let us revisit the earlier example to understand this you have mailed your address to your relatives to invite them for dinner this location or point was represented as a coordinate in the cartesian plane now your relatives can find out how far your home is from their location using coordinate geometry assume the area of the map covered to be on a 2d cartesian plane and locations of your homes are assigned specific coordinates we can now find the distance between the homes if we can find the distance between any two given points on a coordinate plane now let us approach this problem by starting off with a simple case what if both the locations are along the x axis Suppose we take the first point at 0 or the origin and the second point at say 4,0. What would be the distance between these two points? Yes, it is 4. Now let us shift the first point to 1,0. What will be the distance now? It is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So we can find the distance between two points on the x axis simply by finding the difference between their x coordinates as the respective y coordinates are zero similarly if these two points were to exist along the y axis the distance between them would be the difference of their y coordinates now suppose these two points were respectively on the x axis say at a 4,0 and on the y axis at b 0,3 can we still find the distance between them yes we can if we observe carefully these points form a right triangle with origin as the third point the legs of the right triangle are on the x axis and y axis and the hypotenuse of the triangle is the distance between the two points using the pythagoras theorem we can find the length of the hypotenuse which is the distance between the two points do we know the lengths of oa and ob yes the length of oa is the difference of x coordinates of points o and a as they are on the x axis similarly we can find the length of ob now using the pythagoras theorem we can find the length of ab Great. Let us try to extend this further. Consider the location of the two points to be anywhere on the plane. For example, A 1,5 and B 5,1. Can we use the same strategy that we used earlier? Okay, let us try it out. A right triangle can be constructed here by drawing perpendiculars from A to X axis. and b to y axis it is similar to the earlier triangle except that the third vertex here is not the origin let us name it as c now can we obtain the lengths of ac and bc draw perpendiculars to the x axis from c and b they meet x axis at their respective x coordinates if you observe closely you will see that the length of bc is the difference of these x coordinates so length of bc is equal to 5 minus 1 which is 4 similarly the length of ac can be found using the perpendiculars from a and c on to the y axis ac is the difference of y coordinates of a and b using the length ac and bc now and the pythagoras theorem in triangle abc we can find the length of the hypotenuse ab 
which is the distance between the points A and B. Okay, now let us quickly summarize what we've learned in this session. The distance between two points on the x-axis is the difference of their x-coordinates. The distance between two points on the y-axis is the difference of their y-coordinates. The distance between two points with one on the x-axis and the other on the y-axis can be calculated using the Pythagoras theorem for a right angle triangle formed from the origin. The same strategy can be applied to find the distance between any two points on the plane. So, finally we are able to find the distance between any two given points on a Cartesian plane. This can be further extended to a general formula which calculates the distance between any two unknown points. To know how to do that, stay tuned for the next video.